Hi, my name is Grant, and this is a 1998 Ford Explorer Sport. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Ford's Explorer line, but they have a reputation of being horrible gas guzzlers, and I can actually attest to that. I did the mileage tests on my truck and found out that I was getting 13.6 miles per gallon highway, which as far as I'm concerned is absolutely unacceptable. Last year alone, I spent 114 bajillion dollars on gasoline. Okay, I made that number up, but it sure felt like it. Well, I did something about it, and now I'm getting 56% better gas mileage, which translates to 56% savings in my pocket at the gas pump. How did I do it? My truck is now a water hybrid. Check this out. Well, technically, it's a hydrogen on demand hybrid. What we have here is distilled water with one teaspoon of baking soda used as a catalyst. We tickle that water with 12 volts of electricity, and what it does is it separates the hydrogen from the oxygen. That gas is then sent into the combustion chamber where I was formerly getting a 30% burn. That's right, in all of your gas vehicles, you only get a 30% fuel burn, which translates to 70% of your fuel, of your gas, comes out of your tailpipe. Now, how However, I'm getting a 100% burn in my combustion chamber, which means a few benefits. Number one, after a couple hours of running hydrogen, it had blown years of deposits out of my engine. My engine actually idles so quietly in city traffic, I can't even hear it. My torque increased, my horsepower increased significantly, and like I said, right now I'm getting 56% better gas mileage highway, and I'm getting 35% better gas mileage city. Safety. Of course, that's a huge concern here. We're talking about hydrogen. Look out, it's gonna blow! Just kidding, actually it can't blow. Remember, you're not storing hydrogen. This is hydrogen on demand. Since it's hydrogen on demand, there's never enough hydrogen in the line at any given time to cause an explosion or a fire in the case of an accident. If you do happen to get in a car accident, you've got water and broken glass, and that's it. This is a 100% safe system. Now after about 3,000 miles, your water is going to end up looking like this. It gets dirty, and this is what's referred to as blooms. It's a byproduct of the distilled water, the baking soda catalyst, and the electricity running through the system. Now the important thing is this water is not toxic to you or the environment, so you can literally pour it anywhere and you're not going to be doing any damage to the environment. Distilled water, which you can make, you don't necessarily have to buy it, I just bought it for ease. This is your baking soda catalyst, you're going to use one teaspoon per jar of distilled water. After the conversion, my emissions went down to almost zero. However, I'm completely offsetting those negligible emissions because now my tailpipe is pumping all kinds of oxygen back out into the atmosphere. The great thing about HowToSaveFuel.com is the fact that Alex Rivera installs this in your car with a team of certified mechanics, so you don't have to worry about it. And they guarantee their work, so if anything ever goes wrong with the system, they're gonna fix it. And if I ever wanna go back to 100% gas and not use the hydrogen system, all I have to do is very simply pull the fuse.